All right, today we're going to do our M&M's lab. Uh, on your side, you want to title this M&M lab analysis at the top. Now, if you look on your M&M lab, it talks down in the analysis section about you having to put together a couple data tables. The first data table is going to talk about a qualitative and a quantitative observations. So you can set it up something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but this is how I would do it. Uh, one column is qualitative, one is quantitative, but you only need one for each. After that, uh, we're going to do another one, but let's go ahead and write a spot for our sketch. We need a nice big area for our sketch so it's not crammed in. This is where I'm putting mine. You don't have to put it there. You can put it anywhere on your page. Just my spot. Now, data table number two says we need to create a data table that's going to list uh, the colors of the M&Ms and the number of M&Ms for each color. So this is how I might set mine up. This is just one possible way to do it. It's not the only way. And I'm going to go ahead and write in here color of M&M. And then on the other side of the column here, I'm going to write total number. And of course, below that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in each color of M&M that we have in our snack pack. So that would include red, yellow, blue, green, brown, and orange. Now, of course, next to that is where we'd actually put our totals. That's going to come after we actually count them. Now, after that, we've got to come up with an actual graph. This is something new in this lab that we're doing. Uh, but since we're learning about independent and dependent variables, it's now time to start graphing. Every graph has to have a title, and that title should go along with the two things we're comparing, the number of M&Ms versus the color of M&Ms. Now, I've kind of drawn my map down here, or my, my graph, and I'm going to go ahead and slide it down a little bit so you can see that. Now, the bottom is our independent variable. All right, So that's going to be our color of M&Ms. Independents always go on the bottom or the x-axis. And then I want to write down each color, red, yellow, blue, green, brown, and orange. Now we're going to be doing a bar graph, so each bar will be a specific color. A red, a yellow, a blue, a green. On the left side there, which is our y-axis, uh, this is going to be our dependent variable, how many M&Ms there are. And of course, you will start at zero, and you can't fill in the numbers until you've actually counted and figured out how many you have of each then you can go ahead and do your colored bars. Now below you'll see where I wrote lab questions. That's where I'm going to put mine down here. And there's two that are right on my side and it tells you which two questions you have to answer. And then finally lab conclusion at the bottom. Four to six good sentences uh, explaining did you prove, disprove your hypothesis? What did you come up with? Uh, what did you find out? And again, look back at that. Of course, Mars Company, the brand that makes M&Ms, is suggesting they tell us that based on data, blue M&M is the most common color you'll see in a snack pack. So let's see if you uh, can prove that or disprove the actual Mars Company. All right, that's how you set it up. We'll see you soon. Bye.